Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So y'all, the block is hot with bullshit, of course, but we still gonna talk about it. First, let me, you know, get this out of my system. This Tommy chick, y'all, from Loving uh, Hip Hop Atlanta. She is a complete... <laughs> it's not even funny, okay? She is a complete animal in my... <laughs> In my opinion, the girl is just nuts, okay? She's the talk of the internet right now because she has some fucked up shit to say about Chris Brown. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't even be laughing. But the girl is nuts. And I was looking at a picture of her getting her makeup done. Just a clown, okay? But anyway, this Tommy uh, Lee chick from Loving uh, Hip Hop Atlanta, she has some fucked up shit to say about, you know, Chris Brown baby. And, you know, it went viral. All right. Um, she was also fighting with another hoe and she went viral with that, too, I guess, um, with the chick, Natalie Nunn, who's from um, what is that show? Bad Girls Club, whatever the fuck. Natalie was sitting there stuffing her mouth. OK. And Tommy eased up on her and bopped her upside her head when she, uh, you know, when she was arguing with another girl, Tommy was arguing with another chick. And then she slid on in there and hit uh, Natalie Nunn upside the head. OK, um, by the time the guards were able to pull, you know, Tommy and Natalie apart, it looked like Tommy was able to grab a knife or whatever it was. Um, it, well, it, it looked like a knife. OK, I couldn't tell what it was, but it was uh, silver and it was shiny. OK, but she did drop it. But it's like, bitch, when are you going to get tired of fighting when you pop the wrong bitch and she have your family putting your ass on a T-shirt? Or when you got your ass sitting up in prison for the rest of your miserable ass life? She got to be miserable because everything she does reflects that, okay? First, let me say, I ain't no fan of Chris Brown in no way. But what she said about his baby was some ratchet ass shit, especially because it wasn't warranted in my opinion. Every time you hear about Tommy, she's mixed up in some bullshit. You know, it's never it's never about anything good. She either um, she's either intoxicated with alcohol or something stronger. OK, in my opinion, or intoxicated with bullshit. Either way, that's the reason she didn't uh, kid her ass to jail. Like what? Five thousand four hundred and sixty two times. She done been in jail more than the motherfuckers who work there. Like, bitch, ain't you tired? She had a hard life. I know that, okay? <sighs> she's always mad. And I get that. But she's too fucking old to be trying to fight every time the fucking wind blows, pretty much. And she got daughters who get to have a front row seat who probably thinking it's okay for their asses to act the same way. Now, I don't know if they anything like her, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, hoping that they not. Now, I'm going to let y'all hear what she had to say about Chris Brown's baby, okay? Um, I guess Natalie Nunn had got her and a few other other girls from the show backstage um, for Chris Brown's concert. Um, and he had his baby back there, you know, in the back while he was performing. I guess Tommy spotted the baby backstage and tried to speak to him or something, and they closed the door on her face. Now, if it happened like she said it did, yeah, it was a little rude, but, you know, can you blame him? I mean, that is Chris Brown's child, and they were in charge of protecting him or watching him, I guess, while Chris Brown was performing. Tommy, um, she felt the way about them closing the door on her face. But, you know, when you're a ratchet ass bitch and trouble following you wherever you go, who the fuck you think gonna want your ass anywhere in the vicinity of their baby? Like, you know what I'm saying? Was you even fit to be around your own kids? She's violent, disrespectful as fuck, and have no self-control, in my opinion. So, you know. When that's who the fuck you are, you can't get mad when people treat you accordingly. So she has been receiving some backlash for what she said, okay? Um, so she has since decided to apologize to Chris Brown. So I'm going to play, y'all, her version of what happened. Um, you know, what she said about Chris Brown's baby and also her apologizing for um, her ratchet ass comments. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A baby and a slam the door in my face quickly. And ain't no pressure. It's cool. I, I know how I am by my kids. You don't want nobody to see your baby cool. I give a f about no motherfucking baby. Your baby. And f his daddy too. The <laughs> oh, really? I know that's right. You're right. right. Like, girl, I ain't pressed by no motherfucking baby. Kim, all y'all look off, but I know it's 
call to y'all mother. Oh, that baby looked like he got a little something going on where I'm scared of the baby. Oh, my Her eyes caught like a pistol. I don't care about that baby. Oh, yeah. So my question is, how you going to say the shit that you said and then come back and say something I love the kids? She done pretty much called a baby a cock-eyed albino. Now that right there is what you call talking about a baby, okay? The thing is, you know, she probably got her feelings hurt because, you know, they didn't want her near the baby. But can you blame them? Like I said before, when she be out here acting like she act. Then for her to say that that's not her character, I'm like, what character? When did you get character? I guess we can say she's a clown, especially being her age and on a Zeus network fighting bitches. You know, in my opinion, Zeus is a network that makes a lot of money by exploiting mentally unstable ass women, black women. They ass had the cabaret with, you know, uh, Jocelyn Hernandez uh, treating those girls on there like they were her hoes and she was a pimp. Then I think the Bad Girls Club is on that that network now, um, you know, where overgrown idiots are on there fighting each other. And if that ain't on that network, they got they had uh, plenty of other shows just embarrassing the fuck out of these women. You know what I'm saying? They embarrassing themselves. In my opinion, that's why I said that, you know, Ariane will fit well over there on that network because she's ratchet as fuck and she want to be famous for the shit that fit right in with the Zeus network, in my opinion, not on. But anyway, in Tommy's apology to Chris Brown, she said that, you know, we're all human. But I was like, no, bitch, humans don't do the animalistic ass, vicious ass shit that you do. So please don't put yourself in the same category as humans until you become one. So I'm going to need for Tommy to have a plethora of seats and don't get up till she ready to turn her life around. Now let's move on to Ariane for a minute, y'all. Not much to say about her, but I've been hearing that Ariane said that she and Martell were married. I was wondering where that originated from. Like, did she do a live or something saying that? Um, I doubt if Martell married that girl, though. He wants somebody who's going to make him look good because he can't do it by himself. Ariane don't fit that description, okay? Now, I saw a recent live of hers, and I was looking at her face. Now, I know people been saying that the girl is pregnant, but I said that I didn't believe that she was, but I wouldn't be shocked if she was. Because if she let him knock her up three times before, she'll allow it again, in my opinion, because that's just what stupid people do. Allow niggas who don't claim them to knock them up. Now, I know that Martel said that he wanted more children. My guess would be so that his broke ass could file them all on his taxes. He probably filed Knox and threw Ariane a few dollars. I mean, she was in a nail shop to let us know that she had a little money. And she mighty brave, in my opinion, though. Because, you know, she know folks don't like her ass. So it's like, why are you posting your whereabouts? That's exactly how people be getting got. For all she knows, somebody could have recognized that chair she was sitting in while she was getting her feet done, pulled up on her ass and did the mashed potato on her face. She act like she big and bad, but when folks found out where she lived that one time, she was acting a little concerned. <laughs> she used to be in her car talking big, bad shit. Yeah, I said it. What's up? Who gonna do something? But when they found out where she lived, I was like, you scared or no? <laughs> but um, yeah, back to them taxes, y'all. Can y'all imagine? Now, I don't know if Mel worked out some agreement, you know, as to who would file the kids on their taxes now that they're divorced. But um, of course, it should be her because they live with her and she's contributing more than Martell as is, in my opinion. But I can see Martell going behind her back and filing the kids. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that his stupid ass is entitled to do so because, you know, she already got money. Like, you know. Just crazy. Like if he would have sat the fuck down somewhere, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to be a hoe, he would have some money too. It ain't nobody else's fault that he was stupid and still stupid. He ain't paying a lick of child support to my knowledge, but probably going to try to file the kids on his taxes. Now the IRS, you know, they be on some bullshit in my opinion. Because when somebody fuck around and illegally file your kids on their taxes, they don't tell you exactly who did it. You be having an idea, more than likely the good for nothing absent ass daddy done did it. But 
you be wanting, you know, that confirmation and the IRS don't give it to you because they be scared that you're going to beat the shit out of whoever it was. Ain't that some shit? Anybody can file their kid, uh, your kids on their taxes, but they won't let your ass know who did it. But if Mel uh, go to file and she hit that somebody done file the Eminem kids, you know, she going to automatically know that they trifling ass daddy did it in my opinion. His scamming ass to probably try to file his kids and the neighbor's kids in my opinion. He's sitting in a uh, tax office filing his taxes and probably pull out like 15 social security numbers. And he looking at his ass like, nigga, you going to jail. <laughs> but, but yeah, y'all, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Ariana is pregnant. I saw a uh, um, live of hers, like I said, um, and when she was in a nail shop. Now, while I don't see the any drastic weight gain, especially because she was, you know, she was sitting down. But when I saw her, her face was looking like it had a little more meat on it. You know, could be pregnancy weight, could not. And I guess time will tell. Now, I know that she posted a picture the other day in her stories of her standing there in that leopard ass jumpsuit to try to prove that she's not pregnant. But that could have very well been an older picture, perhaps, you know, from a couple of months ago when she wasn't showing. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You know, and I don't care enough to investigate. All I know is that if she is, that's on her. Now, moving on to Stormy real quick. I wanted to take it back to the day that Mel launched Sugar Mama's products, okay, which was on the 19th. Y'all already know how I feel about Stormy. But just in case you're new to the channel and haven't seen my videos yet expressing how I feel about Stormy, I'll go ahead and, you know, say that I don't like her again, okay? I feel like she belongs to the club of folks who ain't never had shit. You always know those who, you know, ain't used to having shit because they always talking about what they got. Always talking about what they got now. You know what I'm something? Um, who's sitting up there taking pictures with stacks of money? But that's what Stormy does. Only a hood rat that ain't used to having shit, in my opinion. Then not to mention, she always telling people that, you know, they ain't got enough to come at her. You know, when they coming at her, you know, calling her out for some shit that she done did or said or whatever. Stormy, in my opinion, is also one of those black women who can't stand to see other people succeed. She acts as if she got to be the only successful black woman out there. And when you, how do I put this? And when she see you walking alongside of her, you know, or getting anywhere close to where she is, she becomes threatened in my opinion. Okay. I know that Mel's fans was over there saying how, you know, she was copying off a of Mel, um, and how they think that she's jealous of Mel and some other shit. And Stormy is always responding to shit. If she know that she started her business way before Mel did, why is she, um, why is she a supposedly professional businesswoman going back and forth with somebody about what she know ain't true? I feel like, you know, she is somewhat threatened by Mel, okay? And scared that she's going to surpass her in business. Why else would she call herself introducing a new product of hers on the same day that Mel was launching Sugar Mama's products? You know what I'm saying? She couldn't do it the day after or the week after. You know, she gives people the ammunition to say some of the shit that they say. So Stormy called herself introducing some kind of body glaze on, the, I believe it was the same day as that male had launched sugar mama products. My thing is how you launch your new products when people are out here, you know, saying that they still ain't got their old products. Why would someone buy from you when people not getting their shit? Why would someone buy from you when people are saying that the shit that they've gotten ain't no good? And why would people buy from you when allegedly there are multiple complaints against you with the uh, Better Business Bureau? While she out here trying to compete with Mel and whoever else trying to be successful, she needs to get her shit together before her success goes down the toilet. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if she come through here or her sister talking shit, you know, like I said before. But I tell you one thing, I'm sitting on ready. I wouldn't be surprised if her mama came through either. You know what I'm saying? Because she, y'all know she like the popping gums. But anyway, moving on. I saw a post that Sheree had posted yesterday, okay? And it said, um, energy is expensive, and we're not giving that out for free this year. I wonder if she called herself, you know, catching feelings for Martel, but see that, you know, he ain't got shit to offer her but a storyline, and they may be done filming that, okay? 
We all know that he ain't got shit else to offer but dick. And, you know, that shit ain't safe in my opinion. The fact that Ariane's still messing with it shows, you know, that she just don't love herself or a healthy pH balance. Now, y'all, moving on again. I heard the... Uh, I heard the other day that Destiny has a... No, was that today? Yeah. I heard that Destiny has a um, fan page. And I guess it's operated by those that support her, okay? So one of the members of that group decided that she was going to try to cause problems for Mel. So from what I saw, it looks as if Mel had a flyer done. And that flyer had the Paw Patrol characters on it, okay? Sugar's mama's face was cropped out and put on one of the Paw Patrol characters. Now, we all know that you can't use patented stuff, okay, to sell your products, which makes me think, okay, did Mel really do that? You know what I'm saying? Or did someone else crop Sugar Mama's picture out and make the fly? I don't know. Either way, one of Destiny's so-called supporters said that she had reported Mel and the flyer and was talking about, you know, uh, she better have, Mel better have their money because in other words, Mel could get sued if she's using the Paw Patrol to sell Sugar Mama's product, okay? Um, the Paw Patrol is a show from the Nickelodeon Network. First off, we know that Mel don't need Paw Patrol to sell Sugar Mama's products. You know, people was going to buy it anyway. I mean, it sold out the same day, shortly after she launched it, okay? And I believe that was before the flyer even surfaced. My thing is, Miss Peggy Hagger, if that's your real fucking name, you're supposed to be a fan of Destiny, okay? But you so fucking dumb that you don't realize that you making shit worse for her. Because that skincare line that Destiny say that she about to come out with, ain't nobody going to buy that shit, in my opinion, when you and anybody else who call themselves supporting her are out here being stupid. Like, find your stupid ass something to do. How the fuck you call yourself a small business owner, yet you got time to be doing shit like this? So this Peggy lady going to say, I wonder if uh, Mel and her minions got permission to use the Paw Patrol to sell her products or some shit like that. And then she said, bitch, better have their money. Then she showed where she had reported it. So, you know, like how you a business owner, but yet you got time in your day to do some shit like that. You know, that ain't even your motherfucking business. How is her using the Paw Patrol affecting you? You know, even though your ass over there trying to look like Chase, okay, with that big ass fucking hat on your head, but wrong color, bitch. Like, stop being dumb. If you call yourself supporting Destiny, you know, this ain't how you do it. Because shit like this ain't going to do nothing but have more people against her, you know? She could be using that same energy to help Destiny sell those uh, $40 candles that people say they can find on Alibaba for shit like five fucking dollars. Help her sell her goddamn candles. So, y'all, lastly, I'm hearing that Chris Fletcher has started working on the 47 acres, okay? They're going to be building like, uh, what did he say? 13 to 15 custom homes, I believe. Another reason for Martell to be mad. And not just that male and Chris Fletcher, but Devin Keith as well, because Devin Keith is the city councilman for Huntsville. I believe Devin oversees and votes on land acquisitions and shit like that. I'm thinking Martell tried to get in on the shit in some kind of way and was unsuccessful, just like he is with everything else that he does. Who knows? He might have even tried to get Devin to go against it or get him in on the project in some kind of way, but it didn't happen. Now he feels stupid, okay? Because he has to sit on the sideline and watch other people build. He don't even got no fucking license and probably still out here trying to use somebody else's shit. But I think folks are getting tired, have gotten tired of, you know, him using them, which is why, you know, his new profession of choice, in my opinion, are the kids. Remember, he's focused on his four beautiful children because he sees them as a paycheck, in my opinion. Just to think that he was mad at Chris for asking Mel to work on the 47 acres. Because in my opinion, he was just mad because he couldn't do it. He wasn't thinking that Mel working on a project would bring in more money for their four beautiful children, as he likes to say. When he getting ready, you know what I'm saying, to use them for something. It's about what's best for the children. If he was really concerned with the children, you know, he would have sat his ass down somewhere instead of risking his family for ass and blowjobs, okay? What's best for uh, the kids is Mel working on the 47 acres because that money will help her support the kids as opposed to any money he bring in. Because I feel like a large portion of that goes towards pussy and tight suits since he likes to float around like he the man and allegedly throw thousands of dollars to chicks he messing with. I wonder how much of his money goes towards kids. Probably nothing 
other than what he may spend, you know, when he take him out to eat or something. And that's just my opinion. He probably figured that because Mel got it. Why does he have to contribute anything? And that's just my opinion. But anyway, yeah, he going to get mad at Chris because he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to uh, work or couldn't work with his no license having ass. He ain't shit but a liability, not an asset. And he can't sweet talk these guys like he can these desperate ass women. And I did a little research. And just because Martel supposedly has a felon on his record, a felony on his record, doesn't necessarily mean that he can't obtain his license. OK, um, they take certain things into consideration, like how long ago the crime was committed, the charges and shit like that. Now, since Martel's stupid ass was said to have been in the car, you know, had been caught in the car during the said crime with a walkie talkie and not an AK-47, maybe they'll, you know, be a little lenient and allow him to obtain his license. I think the reason Martel haven't gotten his license yet is because he's lazy and he's not used to working hard. He's used to using others, which is why, you know, he's OK with not having his builder's license and using other people, other people's licenses. Also, I think he's a little slow and ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, everybody can't be an Einstein, but just go get the help that you need instead of spending your days and nights plotting on your ex-wife because you can't get over her leaving your ass. There's just so much he could be doing, but he'd rather just waste his time. Just crazy. He'd rather throw on suits to pretend he, you know, to pretend to be successful instead of just doing what it takes to actually be successful. <sighs> you know, him, Ariana, and Sheree, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, they look at themselves. How do I say this? They feel like that's where their value is, their looks. It's like they know they don't have anything else to offer, so they use their looks to give them what they want. But looks fade. Of course, they ain't thinking about that shit, though. But I just wanted to mention that because, you know, those three have so much in common. Birds of a feather flock together. <sighs> but anyway, Ariane ain't necessarily flocking with them, but you know what I'm trying to say. They are like. And that's all, on, that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have for this video. Y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.